Okay, let's try this again. I literally spoke for like 40 minutes recording this video, but the microphone wasn't selected properly. So I had to throw it out because there was no audio. I just recorded me talking. So let's talk about Facebook. So if you notice, everybody has a favorite platform if they use social media. You got a favorite platform that you hang out on, that you live on. So if you're not into what I'm telling you, consider at least for marketing purposes to be on Facebook, okay? Some of you may live on X. It's all you look at is X. Some of you do Snapchat. It's all you do. Some do all of it, but there's a favorite, I promise. So my favorite is Facebook. I can do everything in Facebook. I can do pages. I can do groups. I can do live sessions. I can do pretty much anything. So let's talk about what you can do in Facebook, okay? First of all, personally, you got to be careful because Facebook is probably the hardest on censorship. Some words you can't, uh, there are certain words that you can't mention or they'll scan you, give you a warning. I got a warning for, I was joking about something and I used the name of some leader from another country. Um, and I guess Facebook didn't like it. They thought I was, it was like hate speech. Anything that Facebook doesn't like is hate speech. And, oh, community guidelines. I love that. Oh, you broke community guidelines. Well, just be careful. Only use it for um, for marketing. Okay, only use it for doing your business. That's all. I'll tell you this time and time again. I've said it a million times. Social media is a steak knife. You can either cut a steak with it or poke somebody in the eye. We're going to teach you to use it for good. We're going to cut a steak with it. So um, let's talk about Facebook pages. Facebook pages is like Google pages. Um, it's a business page. Your hours that you're open, your customers can talk to you. You can auto respond, which is cool. So in the middle of the night, they write you. They get a response. Um, be careful because pages aren't as secure as groups. Okay. Groups are better security. I had my page hijacked long time ago. But anyway, um, so I moved my page to a group because it was show related. It wasn't, it wasn't a true business page. There was no reason for me to be on pages. But let's say you're an auto shop. You fix cars. You can take appointments through Facebook. Um, you can talk to your customers through Facebook. You can talk about the latest news, share articles about autos, you know, auto repair and all that. Um, you want to eat, drink, and breathe everything about your business. I don't care if you crochet blankets. I don't care if you sew quilts teach piano, or repair cars. Whatever you do, that's everything. It's all over, okay? Somebody said to me, okay, is it better to share my YouTube videos on Facebook, Instagram, or X? And I said, yes. It's free, guys. My favorite word is free. It's free. Oh, sorry. It's free. So, Go ahead and use all social medias, all right? Um, God, there's so much to tell you. Okay, so Facebook pages are business-related. You can, once again, you can put all your, your return information, your shipping info, you can take appointments, whatever, okay? Now let's move over to groups. Group is a collection of people that are interested in the same thing you do. So like, let's say you crochet blankets. 
and you sell them. Well, you start a group of people who like to crochet. You can sell products through there. You can share your videos through there. You can post um, anything you want. Try to stay in your lane. So if your group is about uh, crocheting blankets, don't talk about autos. Don't talk about what's on sale at Kroger. Only talk about, I have screw up. You'll screw up. Try to stay in your lane. I do it all the time. Start getting political, and it's a food channel. Why am I talking politics in the food channel? I know I'm not supposed to, but I think it's important enough to, to say. So, once again, try to stay in your lane. Stay about the topic you're about, okay? Whatever your company does. Sells life insurance. Try to stay in that, okay? Another thing with Facebook is Facebook Live. Facebook Live is really... Excuse me. <clears throat> Facebook Live is very effective. It allows you to speak with your friends, your customers, anybody. It tells people you've gone live. You pick up new customers. You A lot of times on live, they will answer questions about industry or group related topic so we talk live and we talk about cooking you may talk live about crocheting um, or preparing cars or whatever it allows you to do q a okay where people can ask you anything um brings you new customers is the biggest part a lot of people stumble over a live stream it's it's listed so and so's live. So you jump in. Didn't know anything about that person, but you can pick up some new customers that way. You can uh, demonstrate things. You can talk about hot news items that just broke. You can go live right away. Um, stuff like that. Facebook Live, get used to it. Get used to We're going to talk about live again later on. But get used to doing live broadcasts. Let's say you own a boutique. They sell special clothing. And you got a whole new shipment you want to show people. You go live. You hold up a shirt. Something you like. You'll show a pair of shoes. You show a new purse. Live is really good. Amazon does live too. Which once again, we'll discuss another time. But for right now, Facebook Live will give you experience, place to practice. Um, Facebook, every platform has a reason. They all work differently. Facebook is more relationable. Uh, relations with your parents, your grandparents, your family members, um, people from school, your teachers. It's more of a relation platform where X isn't quite like that. So, and I'll explain its function on the X video. But basically, Facebook is about relations, long-term relations. Another feature that people never use Facebook for, international phone calls. They're free if you do it through Facebook. They let you call Australia and it doesn't cost you anything. Comes through really good too. So you look around, examine all their features. If you have any questions, you can write me and uh, I'll answer any question you got. I'm all over social media. Um, just look for Jack Scalfani or Cooking with Jack and ask me and I'll, I'll answer the best I can, okay? But once again, um, there was one more thing. Oh yeah, I want to tell you don't, don't do TV ads. Don't do newspaper ads. Don't do radio ads. The, I've done them all. I've made all those mistakes. I will tell you, the most success is Facebook ads. Why? Because it's target marketing. It's literally allowing me to put my product in front of people that crochet or cook 
or repair cars or whatever you do, okay? You literally can say, I want to reach 18 to 35-year-olds that are in the collecting Mustangs. You'll go directly to those people because what you've done is you've created a profile that tells your favorite movies, what you're into, your check-ins, all that. So it will go through all its 4 million people or whatever, however big Facebook is now, um, it'll find everybody who's into exactly who you're looking to market to. That's the best. I've gotten the best return on investment through Facebook ads because they let you kind of drill down to your core audience and reach them and leave everybody else alone. But anyway, stop arguing on Facebook. That's not what social media is for. Use it for good. Use it to benefit you. Sell your jelly. Sell your car parts. Sell your piano lessons, whatever it is. Um, there's also video conferencing, too, through Facebook. So once again, I don't think Facebook is lacking anything. I think they have a lot of features that people don't use. That's why I'm doing these videos. But I have found Facebook. I've done Google. I've done radio. I've done television. I've done local cable. I've done lots of marketing. The best marketing I had was on Facebook. Once again, it's target marketing. So anyway, um, I'm sure I didn't cover all the aspects of Facebook. If there's something I missed, talk about it in the comments. If there's something I missed and you have a question, ask me and I'll get back to you. But know this. I love you guys. Um, I appreciate you watching this video. I hope it helps you in your business. And I hope you do better than anybody. I hope you you turn this social media into a weapon for good. All right? Love you guys.